you guys doing from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Um, I'm coming at you from a different spot today. Usually I'm sitting on that couch, but I got a bunch of gear that I bought. So I just wanted to show you guys the collection I got today. I got some insanely good stuff. It was a crazy day. This morning I got up really early, went out, um, bought this huge collection, about a thousand records with a bunch of really good audio gear. Um, and then as I came back to the shop, I had a couple people waiting on me when I got there. Um, bought uh, two other small collections with that. So um, I've got a bunch of really good stuff going out this Saturday. Um, I have a, a shop in Matthews, North Carolina, if you're not um, familiar with my channel. And so usually when I buy a big collection like this, I'll have a big drop where I put out a ton of really great stuff the following weekend. So this Saturday, um, doors open at 10 a.m. in the shop. Uh, if you're able to come by, I'm gonna be putting out as much of this as I possibly can on Saturday. So there'll be a huge drop of fresh stuff uh, Saturday here at Noble Records at 10 o'clock. So um, I also give locals first dibs on everything. So if you see something in the video, um, I usually let it stay in the shop for a week before I ship it or anything like that. So if you wanna support our shop, you can buy online the links below. You can buy t-shirts, hats, stickers, all that stuff at one link. And then at the other link, you can buy vinyl, uh, pretty much any new release you can imagine. So we'll get to it. Right now, I'm gonna show you all the really cool stuff. I was gonna tell you the story of what happened. So, um, guy contacted me. He was a DJ in the US and in Germany. Uh, seems like it was like mid to late 70s all the way up until like the mid 80s. Uh, but he had a lot of really cool stuff. He had a ton of classic rock stuff. Um, just the essential, the, the essential stuff. He had a great taste. He also had a bunch of hip hop, 12 inch picture stuff. Uh, most everything, he kept in pretty good shape. Um, so I just want to take you guys through just a sampling of what's here. These are the records and I'm also going to take you through all the audio gear. There's some seriously good audio gear here. So um, the audio gear, I'll do what I can to get most of it out on Saturday as well. So check it out. So here is uh, all the records. So you can see, you can see he had most of the, pine, the spines pointed up. Um, so I got some of them kind of pointed the right direction so I can show you. It's just kind of a sampling of what's here. It's really good uh, classic rock stuff. I mean, there's some late 80s, early 90s stuff as well. These are all uh, German pressings of Zeppelin stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, well, Houses of the Holy Action, it's a German press of that. Zeppelin four into the outdoor with the bag. There's a couple of these nice crispy ones. Zeppelin two, Zappa. U2, Stevie Ray, the Woodstock 1 and 2, these are both German pressings as well. And this is a really cool German NIMS press of Paranoid. Rush, some more Sabbath stuff. And again, as I was saying, he was uh, stationed in Germany for a while, and so probably half of this collection is German pressings. So this is like a really cool German press, Stones Exile on Main Street. That almost has like a unit pack. Really cool. Just a little different than we have here in the U.S. Like there's a bunch of really cool uh, comps and stuff that we don't have in the U.S. So Crazy World of Arthur Brown is great psych starter for you. But even some like Iron Maiden and stuff like that. Great White, Grateful Dead. Dude had some like killer taste. There's some, you know, other other essentials. We'll go check this out. Badlands. This is one that I get asked for constantly. So I'm sure somebody will grab that. It's a pretty cool German press. This is at the smile price. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Core the Crimson King, Muddy Waters, some Janet Jackson and Bob Dylan, Appetite. It's a cool German pressing and the, the zippers are actually a little different on this one. Very, very nice copy. Cool Thin Lizzy stuff. It's actually kind of tough to find. This outfield record. LL Cool J Bad. Stones. Some cool Doors comps too. Um, Star Collection. German pressings. This is a German Morrison Hotel. It's super clean. Talking Heads. That's another one that people ask about all the time. Tesla. Grateful Dead. ACDC. Can't get any more classic rock than that. Oh yeah, Steely Dan. Y'all know the wall. 
This is a really cool um, Town Fades Away copy. Story of the Clash, Skid Row is another one people are always asking for. Def Leppard, Bob Marley. Just all over the place, man. Doors. Parents just don't understand, guys. They just they, they just don't understand. Purple Rain. This is like an example of like some of the hip hop 12 inch stuff he has. All like pretty good stuff. Um, some more to show you another box here. Beatles, Bon Jovi, some Pink Floyd. Twist Sister, Van Halen, everybody's looking for constantly. Um, cool, Velvet Underground, Nico, not the original, don't get your hopes up. It's a German press, but yeah. Some great Pink Floyd stuff. These are really cool David Bowies. I almost wanted to keep them for myself, but I short. Anyways, there's some like normal stuff in here. This is the uh, Zeppelin. I wished it was the vinyl, but it's actually the cassette. But some, like there's some regular old classic rock stuff in there. Most of it's like, you know, pretty standard classic rock stuff, but stuff that everybody will enjoy for sure. Uh, we got some super sweet gear here. Uh, the one I'm most excited about is this uh, TAC X1000R 10 inch reel. She's a beauty. Um, don't get a lot of 10 inch reels around here, but look at that. Amazing. There's these turntables here. This is a Denon DP45F saucer. Cool um, wood grain. Uh, these two are Technics 1200 MK2s. This is a classic DJ turntable. They're tanks. I mean, some people, that's all they'll use. I mean, I've got one in the shop. I mean, if you want to find a used turntable, if you can find one of these, that's like best case scenario. I'll have these two out on Saturday. Um, got this Sansui four channel quad. Uh, this is the mixer that he used when he DJed between the two 1200s. So that's pretty cool. These two components are, they've been here, they need to be serviced. Um, got some other components like this, a, a tape player, all this stuff. I have to test all this stuff out, so I'm not 100% sure on it. But we got some clip heresy speakers. They are sweet. Got a little, a couple nicks and scratches on the on the wood, but inside they're pretty darn clean. Um, I actually got this the other day. This is not part of the collection, but a good little Technics unit for uh, you know anybody that wants kind of everything for an affordable price. Some Carver stuff. Got this magnetic field power amp. Well, got some tape decks and other doodads and what's what's he calls it. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all this stuff. I really enjoyed going out and talking to Bob and hearing all his stories and uh, just getting to know where all this stuff came from. Um, again, all this stuff is going to be going out on Saturday at 10 a.m. So if you're in the area, come stop by and grab some good stuff. If you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button. It'll help me out greatly. Follow us on Instagram and uh, check out our website as well. So thank you all so much, and we will see you next time.